We have the big tree tech filament run out sensor from Ander 3 Pro. Inside the box is the sensor, cable, and some little bits to help it uh, adapt to the printer. I also printed out a, uh, a mounting bracket. This will let it slide onto the uh, X axis. Yeah, worked before. <laughs> All right, there we go. Slides onto the X axis bracket here, right? And so the filament will go through the sensor into into the extruder. But this bracket requires me to pull the cap off of of the runout sensor, right? And replace this cap, this cover with the, with this bracket. Now this sensor is different than a normal runout sensor. A normal runout sensor is just a little switch in there that detects whether the filament's there or not. This has a rotary encoder in it that detects the, the filament motion, right? So this covers a case where you know, your filament got all tangled and, you, and, and the filament's not actually moving, right? Or maybe something's going on and your extruder's jammed. Um, so let me go ahead and open it up. Sorry about the noise in the background. I'm in the in my basement. The furnace is about 20 feet, maybe 10 feet away from me. So you can see this the filament sensor. Still, I'm not going to take it all the way apart. But yeah, it's just got an idler bearing here, pulley, and the encoder is down here. So when that decoder spins, it's going to send signals out here. Now your normal normal encoder, normal Runout sensor just has two pins, which is open or closed. This one she has three wires, right? So what happens is it sends pulses out. Um, so I'm hoping that the Raspberry Pi plug-in, sorry, the plug-in for the Octopi will uh, or it works for this because I run everything off of Octopi, right? If I if I plug this cable into my 3D printer, into the motherboard on the 3D printer. And I print from Octopi. It, not Octopi can keep printing. It's not going to care that, the, that this, that the, that the printer knows the filament ran out. So this has to go plug into the Raspberry Pi. So I'll be, you know, cutting this cable apart, putting a new connector on it, and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. But for now, I'm just replacing the cover. I'll put a link to this cover in the, uh, in the description at the, underneath the video. Alright, line up the holes, All right, so I put all the screws in loose and then tighten them up at the end, right? That, that kind of comes from working on the on the car, right? If you put, if you put the first screw in and you tighten it, and inevitably one of the screws will fit in one of the holes because it's covered and misaligned a little bit. So it's always good practice. Get all the screws started. Then once they're all started, then you can tighten them up. So in this bag, you have a spare uh, spare fitting. I don't think that goes here. It's probably I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it 
Maybe it's for uh, your different ex different extruder setup, right? Extruder sits right here. Um, I'm going to use some of this uh, Kapton, or not Kapton, Capricorn, uh, between, the extruder, between the extruder and this, so that um, you know, the, the problem, because so, the lead screw comes right up here, right? So the lead screw is right here in the Energy Pro, right next to where the filament comes in, there's a chance of getting grease on it. So, you know, maybe slide this on to the x-axis here and then cut down the little capped on tape so it fits right into the so that the filament goes right into the extruder and I don't have to worry about it hitting the hitting the lead screw. But that's it. That's how it attaches. Obviously especially with this bracket, you don't need to take take the X gantry off. I already had it off, so I figure it's a good time to show how it fits on, how it slides on. Um, actually, I'm going to get a little piece of um, filament real quick and um, show you how the filament slides in there. Maybe flip it around so you can see it. Now, this is the back side, right? This is the side you don't usually see on the printer. <laughs> um, so, you know, you just run the filament through the sensor. Try cutting at an angle. This filament's not very straight, so that might be a problem. Alright, and then it would go, goes right there into my extruder. Yeah. So I think I'll put the cap on tape from here to here. Although, it looks like it misses the Looks like it misses this fine, but you know, with the, with the uh, Capricorn, 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 the Capricorn tubing, maybe it'll be a little more, um, I don't know, I don't know, it might run a little bit better. Okay, quick update at the end of the video. Uh, the fittings on the Big Tree sensor are for tubing. They have little metal barbs in them uh, for Teflon tubing like I have on the right side or for the included Capricorn tubing I have on the left side. I put the Capricorn tubing on the left side that feeds my extruder. On the right side I have a filament dehydrator that had the Teflon tubing coming out of it so I just used it.